Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling in Zim... I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at our new template. So we've just launched a new version of Zim. Let's go to the site now, zimjs.com. And we're, we've launched Zim, version Zim 01. Ah, right. We previously were on Zim, version Zim 00. And before that, we were in Zim NFT, and before that, Zim Cat, before that, Zim 10, Neo, Oct, etc. So all sorts of versions of Zim. You can find those in the docs, and then under updates, and you can read all about the updates, including our prime one here that we have frame ready and ticker parameters. So we've adjusted the template. Uh, you can see it here, but I'm going to show it to you somewhere else. We've adjusted the template. Basically, it looks like that now, where we're passing in a ready parameter there that will be some function to call when the frame is ready. So that's instead of going to the event. I don't know if I put the event there. No, I didn't. Okay, so um, let's go, though, and take a look at it in the template itself, and I'll, I'll take you through it. So here's the Zim site. Zim is a JavaScript Canvas framework for coding creativity. We've just made it even easier to use, and uh, I'll show you it was very easy to use before that. We have a bunch of updates as well that you can, if you just press on the banner here, they're in the news, they're under examples, they're in the banner. If you press the banner, then um, you can go to Zim01 updates right here. We're going to make a menu page for this now that we've added more updates, uh, so expect a menu page shortly. Uh, right now, you page through them like so. We have a bubbling about buttons. And here is the new frame. So we've got ready frame and ticker callbacks right there. We also have these constants for the frame, the stage, the width and the height for globals, or not constant, sorry, globals. Um, and then a few other updates were shown in this example as well. Uh, you can look through more of them there. But where I want to take you is the code section. So this is the code section right here where we go and grab the code to use. And indeed, here is the new template. There's the older one. Oh, yeah. So why don't we pop into the older one, just refresh our memory about it. First of all, in the older Zim, we were calling script tags. You can still do that. So we're calling create Jess, and then we're on Zim 01. And there's the minified version of that from the CDN. So script tags are fine. And then we made a new frame. We stored it in a frame variable right there so that we could put a ready event on that. And in the old one, the next parameter is here after the two colors. This is the color of the frame and the color of the outer color of the frame, uh, or frame out, or the color outside the frame. And then, then it would go to the assets and the path and the preload. So those would be the next parameters. Well, we've now inserted a parameter before that. So this is the old one, and we would make a stage. We would have the stage width and stage height available to us like that. Make our circle. And in the older template, we did a stage.update as well. Even if you use this old format, now in the new Zim, there's no need to do the stage.update at the end. We automatically do it for you after the ready event. So uh, old template, great. If we go to the newer template now, let's copy this, and I'm going to copy it and put it into a file here, like so. So here we are. I'm, I've got Adam open, and where we can play around with this a little bit more. First of all, we're module. We were module back in Zim NFT. We were, um, can't remember. We were, I think we were even module maybe at the end of Zim Cat, but. We're using a, a module, so script type module, and there's the Zim module, which automatically brings in the CreateJS module as well. So that helps simplify some things. And then here is the frame. No, we're not storing it in a variable. Here's the frame, and we're calling ready. So now if you want assets, the assets go there, and the path goes here, and the preload goes there. Or no, what is it called? Uh, that's where we put in the progress bar. Progress goes there. Progress, I can do it. 
Um, after this, we've added another one. So there's many more parameters after this. But after this, we've added another one called ticker. And we'll come back to that as well. OK, so these two things, ready and ticker, have been inserted in there. So this is what's bubbling. This is something that's new. We thought about bringing these two things together like that. But we don't often need a ticker. That would be, if you do p5.js, for instance, that would be like the draw. We have another way of doing draw that's that's easier and a little bit better, but just so that people coming from p5.js, if they wanted to, uh, they've got both those things. This would be like the draw, but we called it ticker. Zoom's got a ticker that we use, and I'll, I'll show you how we can do that in another ma manner. But the problem is, since we didn't always do that or didn't, like I would say, 95% of the time we can do it some other way, We'd have to put a null in here to be able to get to the assets, and that's kind of annoying because remember before we didn't even have to do any of that stuff. So we went with uh, putting the ticker after these three things, and hopefully that'll be okay. The other option would have been to put the ready callback, oops, to put the ready callback after these, but then our template would have ended up for half the time we don't have assets, the template would have ended up looking like that. And that's not quite as nice, is it? So in the end, we decided to do uh, this. We actually made an under the hood video. So Zim has a whole bunch of code under the hood, so to speak. And we've done or started a series of videos called Under the Hood, where we actually talk about the code that is in the Zim framework. So we just did an under the hood about that because we were wanting some discussion on this new um, on this new template. So you're always welcome to come into zimjs.com slash slack. It's like this, slash slack. And uh, come and join our Slack channel. There is a channel in there called technical, technical, like that. And if you join that channel or ask to um, be joined to that channel, then you can discuss this template with us, all right? And what you think, because there's a few things that are a little bit different. Um, in the first case, we're using a callback here, where previously we used a traditional JavaScript event and uh, along, you know, a ready event, and then we called an arrow function or called a function on that. And, and what we decided, if, if if you can't remember what that looks like, let's just pop back here one more time to the older. There's the frame dot on ready. So what we'd be doing, though, is having beginner coders, kids, even, even at a college level, I usually teach them all this stuff first and then say, okay, we'll come back to the event afterwards. <laughs> and events come a little bit later. <laughs> you know, so it's a little bit unruly for first-time coders to see that code. And we compare that to this code, which is make a new frame, function ready is here. See how that's a little bit clearer. Also, if you ever came, from like a historically, if you did JavaScript a long time ago, this is clearly um, familiar to us. We use functions all the time. Where this is less familiar, you know, for people who code a lot, yeah, we've gotten used to that. Anyway, um, if you're interested in, in the discussion of that, then please join us and go if, if you want you can take a look at that the zim under the hood where we go through all of our thoughts on that but this is a bubbling just want to show you what's new and here it is isn't that nice there's also no need for a stage.update in the back we automatically will stage.update for you and as it says here right in the template we're given f for frame s for stage w for width and H for height. If you don't like that, if you don't want to use these globals, because it can look a little bit unusual, F dot on key down. Call this arrow function. And then you might do something like if you called this a circle, you might do something like C dot remove from. So if you pressed any key, <coughs> Excuse me, it would remove that, and then we could stage.update. All right, so yes, uh, minimal, but it starts uh, looking a little bit, well, a little bit unreadable. Circle, you could put that there, and we'll just see what the keys only being minimal look like. 
So people might not know what F is. People might not know what S is. Um, we got that right there. That helps. But alternatively, if you don't want to use that stuff, you're welcome to write in the ready, call uh, collect frame and stage. You can also, if you want, collect width and height, like that. And then you can put the word frame here. <clears throat> and you can put the word stage here. So along with those discussions in technical is, should we be promoting the F, S, W, and H? Should we be wanting people to use that in the template? Or should we show them the frame, stage, width, and height version right here and use the full words? So these are some of the discussions that we would like. As it stands right now, we've sort of left it up to you, remove this from the template, uh, although we could easily, this is like we just launched yesterday, we could easily update this to um, accommodate some, some, you know, some thoughts from you guys out there and girls. Okay, uh, I just need to get rid of all this. <clears throat> There's the template as it stands. So, uh, anything else? Let's see. I think that's good. There is, may as well say it here. Remember, there was a ticker. Problem with a ticker, <coughs> excuse me. Normally, we just ticker like this, ticker.add, arrow function, and we can go ahead and say circle dot uh, x plus equals 5 or 2 or something. And as long as we didn't mess this up too much, there we have a ticker going. Okay. So that's how we handle a draw if you're coming from P5.js. And that's how we handle an update if we're coming from 3.js or Pixie.js or Phaser.js. We add a ticker. What's nice about that is this ticker is within the scope of our ready and therefore we can access our circle. If we put in null, oh, I know another thing I wanted to show you. Um, null, null, null um, ticker. Okay, not great. It's like erg. This is our assets. In the in other worlds, there's a preload function that gets called, and therefore the assets would be handled in a preload function and probably not passed in as parameters. Well, recall that Zim can look like this. New frame. Um, we could just do this, for instance. We could say ready. Well, I won't even drop it down because this will be so easy. Pop, pop, beep, pop, pop. We can say ready, comma, ticker. Like that. Not use this one. And, well, I'll leave it with that ticker in place, but open in browser plus, like so. Something messed up. New frame, ready, circle, what's our error? Ticker's not defined. Ticker, oh, uh, right, yeah, we didn't put the ticker function. Okay, well, let me just get rid of the ticker then for now. And try this again, refresh. Okay. So do you see what we've done? We're, we're basically passing in the ready event to a ready, like so. So Zim has Zim Duo. If we want it, this is, that was a full mode that you just saw there. So that's a Zim full mode, open a browser plus. Okay, but no auto scaling or anything like that. That's full mode. Full mode is the default of frame. Yet for our template, we default to the fit mode. So if you wanted fit mode, it would be scaling, colon fit. Uh, these are the default sizes, so we wouldn't even need those, but we might want color, colon darker, and outer color if we want an outer color, colon light, or something like that. And then that looks like this, open in browser plus. Oh. Uh, it looks like the default um, size is not, not what I expected. So for, if we wanted to match this guy up there, then it would be uh, width colon 1024 and height colon 768. I don't know if we have a default 
600 by 600 or 500 by 500 or something like that. Anyway, there, there's the fit mode. <coughs> so we have this technique to do, and that way we don't need to worry about these null, null, null ticker, because we can just say, uh, if we were using that, we can just say ticker, colon, ticker. And at this point, we better make that ticker. So back on the ticker discussion, this is function ticker, like so. And in there, if we were wanting to move our circle, great, that looks good. Remember that this could also be something like ticker, function ticker, if you wanted to. Okay, so it's just that arrow function sometimes clogs things a little bit. So basically, if you're wanting, oh, sorry, function ticker. If you're wanting to say that this function will be run all the time, like a draw, you can just add that function to the ticker queue. And you can add a different one for something else. Usually we only have one ticker function. But this ticker queue also handles things like animation and dragging and up updating that way. All right, so that would be one way to go. But if you really do want to pass the ticker into your uh, frame like this, like those other frameworks do, then it's out here. And unfortunately, it has no access to the circle. So if we comment this stuff out, <coughs> We're stuck with a circle, not moving, with an error that says we don't know. Oh, lots of errors saying oh, over and over and over an error. I can't, I can't access the um, the circle. So easy solution. We can't use const circle because we're trying to declare it. Although I suppose possibly I could make the circle out there. But anyway, the the normal route would be to go let circle in the past, of course. <coughs> of our circle but let circle up here we don't declare it there and so we're declaring it up here and just putting this circle into that therefore we'll have access to the circle here and so this is what those frameworks ten generally tend to do if we're going to make something here and want to use it in the ticker and the draw then we store it out here i always found that to be a bit of a pain in the neck and open in browser plus and <laughs> should have been going Circle, have I still got an error? What's going on? X of undefined. Circle, circle, let circle. Fun oh, I didn't save it. So I've got a little blue dot there of unsaved. And there she goes. Okay, hey, come back here. So that is the new things there of ready and ticker. Two parameters being added. And remember that the ready parameter now comes before the assets. All right. Ticker comes after. And that's all. Woohoo! Yay! So come on in to zimjs.com slash slack, zimjs.com slash discord. And we would love to see you, uh, see you there. This has been uh, What's Bubbling with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract. Uh, take it easy. Look for the other bubblings too about the new launch of Zim NF, or Zim <laughs> NFT, uh, Zim version Zim 01. Cheers.